to learn how to style different elements in our HTML page. All right. So there's three methods that we can use to accomplish this. The first one is we can directly target the element. All right. The second, we can grab it by the class. Or third, we can add an ID to it. Now, the first thing we're going to learn is how to directly target an element. So if you look in our HTML here, we've got a body tag. All right. So within the body tag is where all of our content lives. This is a direct element here. If I was to go below it and simply add a, um, a header tag here, this is going to be another specific element. So let me show you how we can directly target these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a vertical split here. That way we have the HTML on the left and the CSS on the right. And we are going to directly target this element. All right, so come over here into your CSS. And what we're going to do to target this direct body tag is first we're going to write the word body. All right, just by writing that, we have now grabbed that specific element. Now after this, create some curly braces and go ahead and press enter All right, to open that up. Now inside of this, this is where we can declare our styling properties for this specific body tag. All right. So let me show you how the syntax works on this. So in this uh, first part here, we're going to write the property. Okay. And we're going to be adding a background color to this body here. And then on the right side of this, we're going to put the value. All right. And you can see to separate this first, we're going to add a colon. All right, and then add a space, and then we're going to put the value in. And right now, I'm going to put in a hex code for a color. All right, let me grab this color over here, and I'm just going to paste it right here. And I'm going to close it off with a semicolon. All right, so we've directly grabbed the element. We've created some curly braces. On the left side of this, we have got the property. We're separating it by a colon, and then we've added the value, which in this case is going to be a color. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. So go back to your HTML file, and then let's go ahead and launch this so we can preview it. So as you can see, we've uh, added this very, very soft purple color to the background. All right, so in this case, we directly targeted the body element. All right, come back over to brackets, and let's play with this header one tag right here. So in the header tag, um, let's just write anything you want. I'm going to write uh, skateboarding is awesome. Okay, perfect. So we've got a header tag and we're going to go and do the same exact thing that we did with the body tag. So to grab the header tag, it's simply going to be H1. Create your curly braces, open it up. And in this case, let's change the font color. So we're going to go, actually, we're just typing in color. And then we can add whatever color we want to this. And I'm just going to type in red. All right. You see, there's a different, a uh, couple of different ways that we can uh, use colors in CSS. So what I've done here is I've grabbed the header one element and I've given it a property and the value of red. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Come back to uh, my preview here. And you can see that I've added this text right here in the center. Pretty awesome. All right, so let's, uh, let's do another thing here. So we're learning how to directly target these elements, and we, can, we know that we can add these properties and values in here. You can actually assign multiple styling properties to a single element, and here's how you do that. So right after the semicolon in our header one uh, class here, go ahead and press Enter, and then you can add other properties, such as a text align with a value of center. All right. And what this is going to do is going to shift the text right into the center of our screen like so. All right. So kind of making sense, getting the hang of it. Perfect. All right. Let's uh, let's add a class to an element now. So using these, these are direct elements. OK, now right underneath our header one tag, go ahead and create a div tag. And to add a class to an element, we're going to write the word class equal sign and then two, two quotations and then inside of here we can name our class all right and we can name this whatever we want and in this case I'm gonna call this uh, square all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and just close that off 
All right, so with this class here, to, to use it, to target it, come back over to our CSS, and to grab a class, we're going to start it with a period and then the name of the class that we assigned to it. All right, and then same thing, the curly braces, we're going to open that up. And now with this, we can add style properties to it. So for an example, let's go ahead. I'm going to build a square here. So I'm going to give a width of 100 pixels, close it off with a semicolon. We're going to add a height of 100 pixels, close it off with a semicolon. And then to top this off, let's give it a color. And I'm going to go ahead and type in background color. And let's give it a, what colors do we have to choose from here? Let's do a blue. All right, something really simple here. And then close that off with a semicolon. All right, and then I'm going to save this. I'm going to come back to my preview. Go ahead and refresh it. And we have got a blue square uh, right over here to the left. And for this, let's go ahead and just center all of this content. I'm going to come back over to brackets. Under the square, I can add a property uh, of margin, and then it assign it a value of auto. And what this does is it puts equal spacing on each side of my element uh, to center it right in the middle of the screen. All right, perfect. So now we've got a square there. So starting to make sense, right? All right, now the last method that we can use to uh, to style an element is an ID. And to do that, let's create another div tag. And this time, we're going to write ID equals, and then two quotations, and then we're going to put the name of our ID in here. All right, and in this one, in this case, I'm going to call it circle. And then just let's give it some text. Hey, I'm a circle. All right, great. Now, one thing to note about using IDs, all right, IDs should be used very, very sparingly. And when we're using an ID, whatever name that we're going to assign to it, it needs to be very, very specific and very unique. You shouldn't be using IDs all over the place, okay? And I would try to avoid using IDs to style things. IDs allow us to interact with our HTML uh, through JavaScript. And on top of that, you can add styles to them. Um, but let's, let me show you how we can uh, target this class using an ID. So over in our CSS, we're going to write a pound sign, and then the name of our ID, and then the same curly braces. And then we can add a property and a value to it. So inside of this div tag, I've put some text. So let's go ahead and add some style to it. Um, let's make our font color. Let's go ahead and change this to what shows up on purple. Let's just do a dark red. All right, and then we can add a font size. And let's make this 40 pixels. All right, and that should do it. That's simple enough. All right, go ahead and save that, and then back over to our preview, refresh it, and we have added some text. Hey, I am a circle. All right, let's come back over here to brackets and let's talk about some use case scenarios when we would use these different types of selectors. So for an example, this header one tag here, all right, we assigned a color and a text line of center. So in reality, what this has done is it's saying every single header one tag that I use, it's going to have a color of red and a text line of center. Now, Obviously, having a text align of center on every single uh, header tag might not make sense or having the color red. So be mindful when you target these elements directly, you are assigning a broad style property that is going to work across the board for you. All right. Now, when we dive into the class here, we've got this class of square. Um, what we're doing here is when we have a lot of elements on the page, we can assign different classes to them. Think of a button for an example we create a button class and it has a certain size, certain uh, font color, uh, padding, and things like that, different colors. Now, we can create this button class and then every single button that we're using in our page, we can go ahead and add that button class to it. So classes are great when you wanna use the same styling in multiple areas throughout your uh, website or web app. And then the last thing here, these IDs, um, Again, it's really important that you use these IDs sparingly when you're using it in styling. 
unless it's something very, very specific uh, that you need to happen or want. And again, IDs are mainly and traditionally used to interact with your HTML through JavaScript. That's it. This is the difference between the three different types of selectors, how to use them, and how you can style your HTML with them. Okay, <laughs>